Honey, don't you get in no hurry right here. You might slip. Be easy right there. I'm trying to. Let me see my rod. You you might break that good rod, but okay. I'm going to help you get across. Even. Folks, we're going to have to cross this little, it's a little feeder creek. It comes from this way. <laughs> get past this swift water. <laughs> Is it very swift? <laughs> very cold and swift. You want me to? Bang! Let me have that bucket. Okay, now does that help? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to cry right now, folks. I'm just about to cry. My pants are heavy. Now we're gonna have to get up this treacherous heat hill in here on it. <laughs> Come on, Mama Sue, I need a hamburger. Or something or another. In there. <laughs> well, good evening, folks. It's Richard Jean, the fishing machine here. I'm here in the great state of Tennessee, and I'm wanting to catch a trout. And uh, it's hot, it's humid, but this water's cold now. It is cold, cold, cold. Been a long time since I've caught a trout. From what I understand, there's brown trout and rainbows in here. What I'm doing right here, this is four pound test, Mr. Crappie, high vis. It won't hinder a trout from biting. This is just a little bitty split shot. And right here, I have about 14 inches from my hook to my split shot. And I'm using my favorite canyon creek super ultralight seven foot rod with a reverse 1000 and what we're doing uh baby lisa she didn't get her tennessee license i we didn't know if we was gonna catch a fish or not we were just loafering that's just a term that we use i'm cutting these night crawlers in half what i'm doing is throwing up the current just a little bit the currents flowing this way water can't be over three feet deep right there folks and i'm just letting it flow down through here kurt um flow down through here current speed and that side split shot i have to do that there's fish there we go that and jump look at him jumping there lisa that's a little bit better fish than what I've been catching. Them was manners a while ago. <laughs> Look at him. He's going nuts. A fighter. What's wrong with him? What are you doing, boy? You're caught. They want to spin. Look at that. What a pretty fish. <laughs> now, don't you wish you'd have brought you a, a license? Oh, they are so sweet. Yeah. Look at how sweet. Yeah, and that's a brown trout. Is it? Yeah. See, I caught them two rainbows. This is a brown trout. Let me wet my hands and we're going to let him go. As long as you wet your hands, you're okay with a trout. Quit, 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 quit. That's a pretty little brown trout, ain't he, folks? See if we can get a beautiful little fish. Let's let him go. They're so impatient. There he goes. Woo! Hey, man, I'm talking about woo. Somebody stopped a stick up here. A stick is up here. Woo! Trout are easy fish to catch. Now, that split shot is just right. I'm not getting hung up. A lot of rocks out there. But that little split shot is jumping those rocks. And that's what you want. Now, too heavy of a split shot would be a bad deal right here. You'd be hung up all the time. Species in here. What kinds? Brown, rainbow, and I don't know the other one. Well, here's one right here. Got him, too. Let's see what kind of species this, this one is. I don't know. I don't intend on keeping trout. I'm not a big trout fan. I don't like the way they taste. But I do like to catch them. I can't tell if that's a little brown trout. What species did they say they had? Brown, rainbow, and I don't know. I don't remember the other one. Let's see what this is. Let me wet my hands because uh, that is important. 
Well, really with all fish, you want to take care of all of them. That's another, I guess that's a brown trout. I mean, folks, it could be a brook trout. I'm not a big, big expert. The reason is, is because I caught some when I was a kid uh, in West Virginia in a little old bitty stream. There's rainbows and browns is what I call. So I may, I'm not a trout expert, but there he goes. Y'all know, I guarantee you somebody knows out there that's big experts. I just know one thing. They're hitting very, very light. These fish are hitting very, very light. Now, what I caught them on in West Virginia was a little bitty rooster tail. I mean, a little bitty one. I believe it was a, a red one. Red one with a gold blade, the, the smallest rooster tail they make. And also a map spinner, a little map spinner. Now, Elmo, Barcel, Elmo, and Clarence. They ain't never one of them boys right there, folks, that could do this right here. They ain't got the patience. I mean, they got to catch them. I mean, immediately, if not sooner, there's a fish that come up right there. They're just moving up and down right here. This is a choke area. So you got this body of water right here. Then it narrows down. That's what you call a choke. And that's just a good area for all species of fish. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to catch a bass or a, or any type of panfish that lives in here on this spot right here. There's a bite. There we go. Yeah. To be so little, they're fighting. I'm just going to let him fight out there. He ain't very big, but he's doing some fighting, folks. They're biting very, very light. I know how to catch them right now. My timing, your timing's got to be right. I can see that right now. Would you quit all that? Stop it. <laughs> You're done. Let me wet my, yeah. Now that could be a rainbow, let's see. Ain't that pretty? Yes, Beautiful little fish. Let's let him go. There he goes. There's one. Oh, my, my, folks. Are y'all seeing this? Hope my hands wasn't in the way. That fish jumped three times, didn't he, yeah. Mama Sue? He did. Now that one's fighting. That makes me want to just stay right here. My, my intentions was to get up in this calmer water and see if we could catch a bass fish on a whole night crawler. But now by Ned, that's a lot better situation right there. That's more like it right there. Look at there. Bigger than the other one? A lot bigger. He's a lot bigger. I mean, he ain't no giant. I know there's a lot of trout fishermen that's watching, but see, this is this tickles me because I don't have them in my neighborhood at all. We're a long ways from home. My goodness, we'll be back, Mama Sue. That's not a that fish is fighting. I guess from that sizing up, they go to fighting. He won't quit fighting. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Look at there, look at there. I'm barely hooked right there, I like them hooks. And that's a pretty fish right there. I'm just gonna hold him up like that. Now to me, that's something special because like I said, in my neck of the woods, we don't have them. And that's why I, that's why I like to travel. Look at that pretty fish. <laughs> Fishing is a sport second to none is it not folks it, it is it truly is all you gotta do is get out and loafer let's let him go Whew, that water's cold that's what you want right there 
that's watching right there he ain't been out of the water i did that really quick look at there oh my goodness i'm about to lose it lisa i can't help it whoa i'm talking about whoa whoa it's late in the afternoon if you'll notice you'll see a fog on the water right down through there and the reason why uh i was just told that this water temperature stays around 56 degrees year long and uh, i've learned that these trout actually raise in here and a lot of people that lives locally right here they know all about that but look at that look at that fog film on the water i think that's pretty cool that's humidity is what that is because actually the air temperature is hot right now it's probably around 80 degrees wouldn't you think pretty stuffy but i think that's pretty cool we didn't have long to fish we didn't have but too long to fish at all we was just loafing well folks we're gonna head on back to alabama but before we do we're gonna see if we can't find us something to eat here in tennessee the reason is is because we're hungry we're hangry really i want to say thank y'all for everything that y'all do all the great comments hey man whoa i'm talking about <laughs> and remember Go fishing when you can, go and stir furry.